All right, the first thing you're going to want to do in doing a welding of a bumper is identify the type of plastic that you're about to weld. In this case, we're welding a GM bumper which came off of the back of a Camaro, brand new Camaro at that. And the type of plastic that they use at GM mostly is TEO. They use some polypropylene. But if you'll notice, it says TEO right here on the right side here of this bumper, which that would be the left side of the rear of the car. But always find this mark. On OEM bumpers, it will be on it usually with the part number. So now you know you're using, you're going to be welding TEO. But if that had have said PUR, you would have used the old clear spaghetti rod, we call it, but which would you use the airless welder. But we're, we've got a rod here, which is a polypropylene TEO rod, which wells TEO, TPO, and polypropylene. Okay, we're going to discuss, first of all, different materials that bumpers are made out of. First of all, you're going to see the biggest portion of all bumpers are made out of polypropylene, which it's got a little two letters, PP, which means polypropylene. Then you're going to get into General Motors products and different ones like the Saturn, one thing, another was TEO, which is thermoplastic. Alright, you're going to see Ford has got TPO written on theirs, which is another type of thermoplastic. Now, there's always these three letters on the back side of about 98% of all bumpers on the market today. All three of them weigh over the same rod. Chrysler is using a lot of polypropylene. Honda uses polypropylene, Toyota, Nissan, and different automobiles. Always look for your letters. But always determine before you start to weld what you are going to weld, whether it's polypropylene, TPO, TEO. You need to know that in advance. Remember this, PUR, the old thermoset plastic, that was the old yellow bumpers that Ford made, or GM made of one that looked kind of green, Chrysler made them that looked yellow. Most of this is off the market today. You see very, very little of it. Uh, it's being taken off the market for a reason. And uh, so this is what you weld with the little airless welder, the PUR. And it's